I could never do the carnivore diet. I don't know how you do it. What is your life worth to you? It is grim. I mean, so many people are scared to start the proper human diet. I can't imagine doing it. I can't imagine doing it. Well, I tell you this, you should be terrified of whatever you were doing that led you to this point right now that you're watching this video and even considering doing the carnivore diet. That's such a huge statement. How do you, how, wh who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I'm talking to myself right now that you think you can heal humanity. Beep, Carrie here from Healing Humanity, the power of a proper human diet. And today I wanna talk about I could never do the carnivore diet. I don't know how you do it. You're just so incredible. How are you doing this? I don't have the willpower to do it. I want to talk about that in today's episode. What is the value of your life? And shout out to my friend Larry, carnivore soldier, because he planted this little seed with me. I interviewed him the other day. He's doing some amazing work for veterans. Uh, Check him out. It's Larry at CarnivoreSoldier.com. He's also on YouTube. And he said, he proposed this idea of a check. Put a check in an escrow account for $10,000. And then tell yourself, if you don't stick to the proper human diet for 30 days, you lose that check. Well, if you had that hanging over your head and you get a little temptation, you're probably going to stick to it. And you probably could do it. I thought that was a good analogy, but I want to take it even a little step further. And Larry did a little bit in our conversation. What would you write on that check if it was a blank check? In other words, what is your life worth to you? If you're considering carnivore diet, you think it's crazy. You're considering the proper human diet. You're considering a ketogenic diet. Maybe later you do a carnivore diet. You think it's all crazy. You think it's unsustainable. You think there's no way I could do it. Do what Larry suggested. Consider writing a check, but instead of $10,000, I want you to write in that check, what is your life worth to you? Think about this. The very mere fact that you're listening to this now and that you are alive as a human being is a miracle beyond all imagining. Think of the uh, chain of events that had to occur in order for you to be here right now listening to this. You can't even calculate it. Your, your great, 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 great grandparents had to just happen to meet and get together. And then so on and so on and so on and so on. The statistics of you being here. Talk about winning the lottery. The odds of winning the lottery are more likely to get hit by lightning twice in a day. The odds of you being here are tenfold the odds of you even winning the lottery. I like to imagine what is the most valuable thing on the planet besides humans, the most valuable, tangible thing. Uh, I, I just, I was watching on TV the other day, they, they launched this new cruise ship. It was like $1.3 billion for this cruise ship, $1.3 billion. Every individual listening to this, you are worth more than that cruise ship. You are more valuable than that cruise ship. So write $1.3 billion on a check and imagine that check and say for 30 days, can I stick to a proper human diet? Eating like humans have eaten since the start of time. It's not hard to eat like humans have since the start of time. It's hard to break that addiction initially to the sugar and get over it. But you could do anything for 30 days. There's nothing special about me. I don't have some huge willpower. I just did it. I stopped talking about it and I was so desperate and I was so hopeless. I would do anything. And so I did it and it's changed my life forever. So the question for you is, what is your life worth? And I don't just mean little changes because if you're considering carnivore diet, something's wrong, whether it's obesity, diabetes, uh, mental health issues, brain fog, constant fatigue, you just don't feel like a human, do you? I know you don't. It's because you're not behaving like a human. It's because you're not consuming the foods that humans have since the start of time. There's 60,000 products in the grocery store. Almost every single one of them is not food. It's not intended for human consumption. It's sugar, it's seed oils, it's processed foods that cause inflammation in the body because we're basically having an allergic reaction to them and our body is saying, oh my goodness, what the hell are you putting in my body now? What is this poison? What is this toxin? What is this pesticide residue on these fruits and vegetables, which by the way, have almost no nutrients in them anymore because we've taken it all out of the soil. You don't plant a seed in a soil and get a carrot 
and then there's a bunch of nutrients in the carrot that comes out of thin air. That nutrients in the carrot is from whatever nutrients was in the soil. And I have a newsflash for people out there that, are, that think vegetables are so good for you. They're so good for you. There's almost no nutrients in any of the vegetables you can get now. Unless you're organically growing your own vegetables and you have your own cows that are eating grass, pooping on the ground with their manure, which has the nutrients and the minerals and everything you need it that's going back into the soil and the soil is regenerating and then you're growing a vegetable in there, then you're going to get those nutrients in there. Newsflash, nobody's doing that anymore. Newsflash, it's a huge problem that almost no one is aware of. Our soil out there is turning to dust. There's almost no nutrients in it. Sure, you can go to the store right now and purchase a carrot that's got a pretty little green leaf on it. It's nice and shiny and a neon green color. Well, that's from all the chemicals and fertilizers they pump all over it. It's an epidemic of suffering out there right now. And this is no exaggeration. But back to my earlier point about social norms, it's happening slowly, so we all think it's normal. We think it's normal that, what, 40, 50% of the public is obese? That is not normal. That is insane. 20, 30 years ago, you'd have one or two obese dudes in a crowd. Now half of them are obese. Heart disease is the number one killer despite all this technology and despite the demonization of meat now for decades and decades. We've been told to eat less meat. As a society, we're eating way less meat than we ever have before. We were told the meat is causing heart disease. Nobody's eating meat anymore except for carnivores like me and heart disease is through the roof. Mental health. I interviewed Dr. Georgia E. I said, how is the situation going in the world right now with mental health? And she said, it is grim. I mean, everyone I'm sure who's listening to this and any any audience wouldn't matter whether it's your more probably better informed audience than the average audience. Any audience you talk to, I'm sure that everyone in that audience either is struggling with a mental health issue themselves or uh, is a very closely uh, uh, has somebody very close to them who has a mental health issue. None of us is untouched by this now. It is grim. Who do you know that isn't suffering from mental health, depression, anxiety on a daily basis? It's not normal. Humans should not have anxiety on a daily basis. The purpose of anxiety, uh, biologically speaking, is I'm out there in the woods behind me and I'm getting chased by a bear or I'm getting chased by a lion. Then I should be anxious and my adrenaline should start flowing. And I should run and I should go into fight or flight mode. That shouldn't be the normal behavior of humans on a daily basis. Oh, I'm anxious about today. I'm anxious about a phone call. I'm anxious about tomorrow. I'm anxious about this test. I'm anxious about work. I've been a carnivore now for over 300 days. I have no anxiety. It is the most beautiful thing in the world. I have no depression. Eating the proper human diet didn't cure my anxiety and depression and put me at a flat line. It did whatever the opposite of pure hopelessness is. It gave me hope. It gave me energy. I'm not just flatlining now. I'm happier than I've been in my entire life. Right. It's not just the absence of symptoms. It's the presence of well-being. Uh, you know, it's the pre you're thriving. You're not just getting by. You're not just not depressed you're feeling great and you can, you can see it, you can hear it in your voice, you can, you, know, you can see it. And that seems abnormal to the mass public, to society, to humanity in general. It shouldn't be. That's the sad part of all of this. My default state of happiness and cheer uh, and a smile on my face is the default state of a proper human when fed the proper human diet, when putting the proper nutrition and fuels into our body instead of all of this waste and garbage that everyone is putting in to their bodies. So when you're saying, I could never do the carnivore diet, number one, you got to have your big reason why. Number two, I encourage you to use Larry's method. Shout out Larry, carnivore soldier. Right? Imagine a check for $10,000, but change that $10,000 to whatever you think your life is worth for you. And I mean that literally. That isn't being dramatic. I wasn't living before this. So many of you watching this right now, you think, oh, I've got a decent life. Yeah, I got some anxiety. Yeah, I'm overweight. Yeah, I got some pain here and there, but I'm used to it now. It's just fine. You do not realize the extent that you are missing out. You deserve to feel like a proper human, like I feel on a daily basis, without fear, without anxiety, with energy, with happiness, with no pain in my body, not all these aches and pains and ailments, and with no brain fog. That inflammation goes away so quickly. You think you have brain fog. You, I'm talking to you right now. You think you have brain fog. You're right, you do. You have no clue the extent of your brain fog. 
you have been looking through this cloudy lens for 10 years now, 20 years now, 30 years now, and that's become your new normal. You don't know what it's like to feel like I do with total clarity. I feel superhuman, but like I said earlier, it's not superhuman. It's proper human. It's what all proper humans feel like when they eat like I do. And you can say I'm an anecdote. You can say I'm exaggerating. Well, then I encourage you to go out and do your own research and listen to thousands and thousands of other carnivore testimonials on my channel, on other people's channels. They're, it's spreading like wildfire. And they're saying the same things over and over again. I put in the proper fuel. It's changed my life forever. It goes so much deeper too than this. I started doing all of this for mental health, depression, anxiety. And then I started learning about other things, people overcoming type two diabetes. I didn't think you could overcome type two diabetes. I have family that have lost limbs to type two diabetes. And I thought that's just the way it is. They got it. No, it's easily reversible. IBS gone, heart disease, heart issues. My irregular heartbeat is gone. My chronic fatigue I've had my whole life is gone. I hear these stories over and over again, but the most incredible thing that I've learned recently from Professor Thomas Seyfried is about metabolic therapy and cancer. He thinks, and he's been doing this for 30 years, and he's been doing a ton of research at Boston College, Professor Seyfried, shout out. That man is a life changer for so many people. Cancer is a metabolic disease caused by chronic inflammation for years and years and years, and it damages the mitochondria. What do most humans get chronic inflammation from for years and years and years? Some people get cancer from smoking or maybe they're exposed to some sort of chemical or toxin. Most people though, they have chronic inflammation for years and years. I did. I'll speak for myself right here. Why did I have chronic inflammation for over 20 years at least? From the foods I was eating. From eating sugar and seed oils and highly processed foods that caused inflammation in my body. I did that for years and years and it turned into decades and decades. And before I knew it, 20, 30 years had gone by of chronic inflammation. I started the carnivore diet because I was hopelessly depressed. That has been fixed. The weight loss has been great. IBS has gone. Sleep apnea has gone. All those things are great. There's things that I can't even measure now that I am confident uh, I have fixed as well, like an early death due to cancer or an early death due to heart disease or an early death due to all of these other issues and ailments. I believe I will never get dementia or Alzheimer's. I will believe that those are diseases of nutrition. I firmly believe that. So when I say to you, what is your life worth? If you're thinking about doing this, and you're thinking about writing a check out to yourself and put it in an escrow account, imagining, okay, if I have a little cheat day here, I'm going to lose that whole check and I'm going to just stick to this. I'm going to do it for, I suggest 60 days. Some people, some people say I'll do it for 30 days. If, if that's what you can commit to, you commit to 30 days then. What is your life worth to you? I would say it's priceless. My life is priceless and you're going to blink your eye. It's going to seem like seconds go by and you're 90 years old, God willing, if you make it that long, doing whatever you did that got you to this point that you're even considering the proper human diet. So many people are scared to start the proper human diet. I can't imagine doing it. I can't imagine doing it. Well, I tell you this, you should be terrified of whatever you were doing that led you to this point right now that you're watching this video and even considering doing the carnivore diet. I guarantee you whatever you were doing is 10 times scarier than eating the proper human diet that humans have been eating since the start of time. Put it on a football field. Imagine a football field 100 yards long. That's how humans have been eating since the start of civilization, since the start of humanity. Humans have been hunting and gathering and they've been eating mostly meat, just like me. Look at this snow behind me. What do you think they did out here in the wintertime? They'd hunt a big animal and they would feast. Their body would be in deep ketosis and then maybe a couple days later, they'd get another meal again. They'd feast and they'd fast. And then in the summertime for three weeks, maybe they'd get a couple of uh, berries, which by the way, those berries aren't the same berries you get in the store now. Why can't I have my berries and my fruit? Because the fruit in the store has been modified 10,000 times. It's been perverted. It's like a piece of candy. An orange today is so sweet. An apple today is so sweet. It's nothing like an apple in the earlier days. If you're considering doing this, you should be scared not of doing this, not of doing what's been done since the start of time. My football field analogy, 100 yards. Now imagine a little grain of grass at the end, one grain of grass, that represents the standard American diet, the diet that you're used to, the diet that you're scared from straying from. This entire 100 yards of football field, people are eating like me, but you're scared of this little blade of grass at the end. 
It's a flash in the pan. It's the biggest fad diet of all time, the standard American diet. But because the brain, the human brain and how it works and our social norms, and that's just the way things have been, it's the only thing you know and anything else seems incredible. The standard American diet should be incredible. It should be insane. It should be eye-opening. You look around in the grocery store, there's 60,000 products. Two of those I eat. Well, maybe a little bit more because I eat different types of meat, but meat and eggs. 59,998 products in the grocery store are waste and junk, and they're not even food. They're not, they shouldn't be made for human consumption. They're pure waste. They go in your body, you need nothing, and they're, they're waste out of your pocketbook because you're spending money on it. They're waste out of your time as you're in the grocery store, and it's a huge waste and toll on your body and your digestive system that's processing all of this garbage for decades and decades, and it doesn't need any of it. It doesn't need any of it. And most of it is hurting you. Most of it is causing inflammation. Chronic inflammation for years and years, you do it long enough, you end up with cancer, you end up with heart disease, you end up with Alzheimer's, dementia, you end up with mental health problems, and you're not living life to the fullest human potential. People keep asking about these. We did these, I did a 24 hour live stream all about the proper human diet. We had all the good doctors on it, Dr. Barry, Dr. Chafee, Dr. Tony Hampton. Uh, we offered these up, these are Redmond's uh, little portable salt shakers. And this is a little keychain holder and we have them in little miscellaneous design. So you could take your Redmond's salt with you, I'll cover up the focus there. You could take your Redmond's salt with you on the go. If you're going out to eat or you're going to a party or a birthday party or something, you gotta have this good salt. Table salt has dextrose in it, just like everything else in this world. Table salt has sugar in it. There's a million names for sugar. Well, these are available on our website. Link in the description below. Every penny from these goes to support healing humanity, the power of a proper human diet. We also have a GoFundMe. I'm not taking a penny of any of this money. Every penny from the GoFundMe goes right to our documentary. We filmed so many incredible stories of healing humanity already. Links in the description below for that if you're interested in supporting it. We also have shirts. Every penny we get from the shirt sales, whether it's Healing Humanity or Compassion Carnivore, go towards the documentary. Everyone loves these Redmond salt shakers too, by the way. We'll ship one of these out to you. Every penny of profit from that goes towards the documentary. So thank you so much for that. My vision for the future, Healing Humanity, right? That's such a huge statement. How do you, how, wh who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I'm talking to myself right now, that you think you can heal humanity. Oh, I'm very confident we're going to. I'm not going to stop until we do it. It's my purpose in life. It's my mission in life. And I'm not going to make a penny doing it. I don't want any bias. Um, I don't want any greed getting into this because I believe we're in the situation we're in right now because of money and greed and bias. I am going to change that. And how are we going to do it? You may ask. How are you going to heal humanity? One person at a time. There's the macro, healing humanity as a whole, which is completely overwhelming and audacious. And how dare you even think that you could heal humanity? I really believe we're going to do it. And how are we going to do it? One individual at a time. You heal on the micro level. You watching this is going to see my example or Bill Knott's example or Maggie's example or Jeff's example. And maybe it's going to fire you up and maybe you're going to try it and you're going to heal yourself. And you're going to feel like what it feels like to be a proper human like I do. My goodness, if the world was full of proper humans, it would be such an amazing and beautiful place. It's not right now. The majority of humanity right now is sick. They have brain fog. They have brain fatigue. Why? Because they're not putting the proper fuel in their body and their system is completely dragged down. Well, what does that do to a human? It makes them conform to social norms. It makes them go with the flow. They don't take risks. They don't want to go out and talk to a stranger. They don't want to make human connections with other people. Every carnivore I've met, every prop person doing the proper human diet I've met, they are awesome. And I realize why. They're outgoing. They're energetic. They have the energy to connect with others on a personal level. And this whole proper human diet thing, it is spreading like wildfire. Why? Because it works and it's the natural thing. I've done every diet and I failed at every diet. But one thing. While I was doing those diets, while I was doing Weight Watchers, while I was counting calories, while I was trying to starve myself doing just one meal a day and counting calories, I always knew in my head, this isn't natural. This isn't sustainable. This is so hard. I'm sitting here calculating macros and starving myself all of the time. The proper human diet isn't hard. 
I don't even think about it. That's why it's so frustrating when people say I could never do carnivore. It's literally the easiest thing I've ever done. I have been on autopilot for hundreds of days now. I forget to eat sometimes. I'm fully nourished. I feel better than I have my entire life. I don't have to think about it. it like so many things in this world, it's the opposite of what you think. You think you could never do carnivore. And in reality, it's the easiest thing you could ever do. It is hard getting started. I will give you that. The first week or so, getting over that sugar addiction is harder. Is hard, but after you do that, it gets easier. So in conclusion, how are we going to heal humanity as a whole? That's audacious. It's huge. How dare you say you're going to heal all of humanity? We're going to do it one person at a time. It's happening right now. It's spreading like wildfire. I put my video out there. That's great. But just as an individual, as myself, I've healed myself. What's happening now? My mom is eating the proper human diet. She had a uh, bipolar disorder, mental health issues. She tried to lose some weight. She had pain in her knees. It's all reversed. My stepdad's like, what's going on? Now he's doing it too. My younger sister's doing it. My older sister's doing it. My daughter's doing it. That's just five people. There's many more. That's just five people that have been doing this now for months and months and months. And it's changed your life forever. And now people are seeing them. They're seeing, people are seeing my mom's example and they can relate to my mom because they're friends with her. They're her peers, right? They can relate to her. What are you doing? How are you so happy and healthy? You're losing weight. Your knee doesn't hurt. You don't have these aches and pains like I do. What are you doing? And then they start to do it and they spread their example. We are going to heal humanity by sharing the examples of real people. Individuals are doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Other people are doing it right now. And it is spreading and growing. The thing is, a lot of people don't talk about it because it's, it's you're going against the social norm and it's like a, a it's confrontational. People don't like to be confrontational. I don't mind. I talk to about everybody. I encourage you if you're a carnivore, talk, if people ask, talk to talk about it. Get your word out. Just tell them what you're doing. You don't have to be preachy about it. How we're going to get it out, though, I believe, is through more YouTube videos. I've been encouraging everyone to start a YouTube channel. I've been promoting all of my friends, my new Carnivore Friends YouTube channels. What, what, what is my motivation behind that? What is my incentive? To self-compete? To have more people to compete with on YouTube? I'm not in this to compete on YouTube. I'm in this to heal humanity. I'm in this to help the hopeless. In my darkest day, I was so hopeless. It's only by the grace of God I'm still here right now. Suicidally depressed. I would have given anything to know about this right now. And there's millions of people out there that are hopeless like I was. And we have the key. We have to get the word out. That is how we're going to heal humanity. One example at a time, individuals getting the word out. And hopefully, right here is a huge cornerstone of all of this. We were going to reach millions with this. I'm not going to stop. If I die trying, I'm not going to stop putting together documented stories of individuals and getting it out to the world. And it's just going to spread and spread and spread and spread until people realize, what are we doing? We have to break this social norm that it's normal that we're eating all of these 58, 59,998 products in the grocery store are all waste and junk. And they're killing us slowly and they're taking away our humanity. And I'm going to break that social norm and uh, I need your help to do it. So if you're interested, Healing Humanity, share this video. If you purchase the Redmond's uh, salt shaker, you purchase the shirts. Donate to the GoFundMe. We'll give you the biggest bang for your buck. If you can't do any of that, just watching and commenting, I really appreciate it. I hate asking for money. Again, I'm not getting a penny of it. None of it's for me. It's all for this mission. I put thousands of dollars of my own money into this. If someone came to me right now and they said, I'm gonna, I love what you're doing, Kerry. I'm going to write you a check for a billion dollars uh, so you can get this uh, documentary done. I would gladly take it and use it for the documentary. I will not take a penny. I will not take one single paycheck ever, ever. And well, it doesn't cost a billion to do this. Yeah, well, we'll use that money then for a subsequent series. Uh, we'll do a whole series on uh, bipolar disorder. We'll do a whole series on depression. We'll do a whole series on PTSD and soldiers examples. Series after series after series until we get this word out and it resonates with everybody. I could never do carnivore. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. What you, could, what you should say I could never do is continue the standard American diet, which is going to lead to possibly uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, possibly cancer, if you have chronic inflammation for long and long enough from eating all of that food. That's something you should never do. What is your life worth to you? Think about that. Create yourself a why and set yourself a goal. You can do anything for 30 days. There's nothing special about me. You can do anything for 30 days. I hope that helped you guys out a lot. If you enjoyed that video, 
uh, you're going to want to watch this one in the upper corner. It might be over here. It might be over here. Maybe there's right here and here. I'm going to put a video up there that's going to take this to the next level. One of the things you might be thinking is carnivores crazy. How could I ever do that? What about fruits and vegetables? They're so important to me. You're going to want to watch this video. I did all about fruits and vegetables and why I will never in my entire life eat a fruit or vegetable again. It sounds like I'm being dramatic, but I think after you watch this video, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, the guy's got some good points there. He's got some good points there. Thanks a lot for watching.